Hi, good morning everyone. So today I want to talk about a hormone called somatostatin. You know, as you know, I have a methodology around weight loss that it is not just about diet and it's not about exercise. It's about hormonal balance and hormonal imbalance. When you have an imbalance of hormones in your body, right from estrogen to progesterone to testosterone and so many other hormones, you create an environment which is difficult for your body to lose weight or you create an environment where your body can actually pile on those pounds, pile on that fat. Now, all of us know people who do exercise every day. They do it the right way. They eat food the right way. Everything is done perfectly, but yet they cannot shed that belly fat. Yet they cannot lose those excess pounds. And why? Yes, we've discussed about stress and cortisol and the impact on weight and everything else. But one mistake that I see a lot of people making all the time, right, from marathon runners to normal people every single day, is what they consume post their workout. And that is extremely important for you to understand. Now, if you consume something that has refined sugar or high corn fructose syrup, anything, or bad fructose, anything ranging from your sports drinks, you know, all those sugary colored drinks, to your protein bars that have excess sugar, hidden kinds of sugars and high corn fructose syrup, <clears throat> or a cupcake or a bar of chocolate because, you know, after an intensive workout, you feel that, wow, I've earned it and my body will burn those calories rapidly. Well, you're mistaken. And I'm going to explain to you exactly why that happens. So for the last few years, I've been observing marathon runners, you know, post their training runs, post their run in between their runs. They're given a cupcake or they're given this, you know, this energy bar, which is full of, full of, full of uh, uh, sorry, full of sugar and all these high calorie and high sugar sports drinks. And you'll notice that most of the people consuming it, they may be able to complete the marathon or their runs or their intensive trainings, but they have that pot belly. They have that belly fat. And it doesn't make sense. If you're training that much, you should have the body of a runner. You should have the body of an athlete or, you know, the kind of training that you're doing. But most people suffer from that. And that's, it's, it's because of the sugar consumption. Now, let me explain how it works. There's a hormone called somatostatin. Somatostatin gets produced in the hypothalamus region of the brain, which means when it's produced, your pituitary gland reduces the production of two other hormones. One is your thyroid hormone, your TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone, and the second is your human growth hormone, HGH. HGH is the hormone that helps you lose weight. HGH is a hormone that helps you build muscle, lean mass, which in turn helps you lose weight and burn fat. So now you create an increase in somatostatin, which reduces the production of HGH and TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. That's something that most people in India suffer, a thyroid problem. Your, t your thyroid gland doesn't produce sufficient TSH and we get onto medication for a lifetime believing it's going to fix us, but it doesn't fix us because we are causing a depletion of TSH because of the food that we eat post a workout. Somatostatin is also produced in the pancreatic region and when somatostatin increases, insulin decreases. Now we all know what happens when you have low levels of insulin. It is also produced in your gastric region, in the stomach. So when somatostatin goes up, gastrin, which is required for the digestion of food, also decreases. So this one change that we make, this one habit of eating anything that's rich in sugar or sports drinks, within two hours, within two to two and a half hours after an intensive workout, makes our body store fat reduces our HGH, reduces our TSH, which is why people feel so fatigued after a run, even though they've eaten well, or they, they feel so fatigued after a workout, even though they've eaten well, because you have created a deficiency of TSH. And then you find that, wow, I'm lifting weights, I'm running, and I can't develop lean mass. Why? Because somatostatin is reducing HGH, which is a human growth hormone. So you see, it's all about hormones. You increase HGH, you increase testosterone, you lose weight, you increase muscle mass. You train the right way, you develop the body, which is parallel to the kind of training that you're doing. But if you're training endlessly and you're not achieving your results, these are the little things that you have to start looking at. So eating that cupcake after a training run is going to put is going to make more issues in your body. And we all know what happens with elevated sugar levels either ways when you're training or you're running. It depletes potassium. It depletes magnesium. It depletes copper. It depletes trace minerals in your brain and your body. 
That's why marathon runners and trainers have spasms all the time in between their workouts or their runs. Why? Your sugar content is depleting your body of magnesium. Magnesium protects you from spasm, from spasms. It protects you from muscle cramping. So eat the right things while you train. The elevated sugar levels, we know the other damage that it does. It depletes glutathione, vitamin C, vitamin E from your body, all the essential vitamins that you need. It depletes enzymes like AGE, which actually protects you from tissue and ligament tear. So the food that we eat can actually be damaging our bodies when it comes to our workouts. So my tip for today is please eat the right thing post your workouts or your runs, even in between your runs. I know the standard chartered marathon is coming up in a few days. Train the right way, but also eat the right way. Keep sugar, all forms of refined sugar, out of your post-workout meals for at least two hours. In fact, it doesn't even need to be part of your workout program at all. You have things as natural as coconut water or lemon water with jaggery and you know uh, Himalayan pink salt makes for the best recovery drinks. Sugar depletes you of electrolytes. And what do we need when we're running? What do we need when we're training? The right amount of electrolytes. So what you put in your system is actually setting you up for damage. So be aware of somatostatin and this hormone do not consume anything that has refined sugar or high corn fructose syrup two hours post your workout and try to eliminate it from your life completely. Your body doesn't need it. Your body doesn't know how to handle it. And these are the reasons why people don't lose weight no matter how much they do. Have a good day, everyone.